it if uh, you're heading out this evening because we may get some passing showers and at times they may be a, a little heavy. My first soccer match here in Portland was the Thorns one and it was a really great time and uh, congratulations to them and hopefully everyone gets out there, pack it, just grab a rain jacket with you. Uh, when you're heading off. Okay, here's the view coming out of Vancouver right now. Some clouds streaming on in. You can kind of see the West Hills, beautiful Columbia River there. They look blue from this tone and it's really nice, but uh, not a lot of sunshine for today. I mentioned that in the first weather. Things are going to kind of be gray. Watch it for the showers. That's the first step, but some of them may be stronger than others. And so if they do have a bit of a bite, we're going to watch that and I'll keep you updated. If we get a little bit of lightning, of course, you're going to want to be indoors. So if you hear the thunder, just go inside for maybe about 15, 20 minutes should be brief. Okay, I have a cooler morning coming on Thursday, so we're getting to that point of the year where we're transitioning kind of through fall, but not only early fall, but now mid to late fall, and uh, we'll start seeing some cold mornings and just overall cool air around here. And we're watching for that atmospheric river, and I believe that will arrive late Friday heading into Saturday. As far as thunderstorm potential goes, you can kind of see the bracketing here. It's mainly from the Cascades to the west, and that's going to be through the remainder of today until things kind of settle down late tonight once we get that sunset. Here's the view coming out of Portland. So if you're about to step off, go grab lunch real quick and just want to get out by foot. Maybe just take a break. Uh, now's a good time to do it. I don't see any rain showers passing through here in the next hour or so. Of course, a few may develop. But if you were to set off right now, you'd be good. West Southwest breeze about five miles per hour heading into the afternoon evening hours. No, so we do have a chance for some rain temperatures in the 40s maybe warming up to 50 degrees for today. All right, so plenty of moisture there off towards the east. You can see that that radar is spiraling there over towards Pendleton, picking up on that rain. So if you did have to travel later today and you're heading east, you're going to be dealing with a little bit of rain. For us, we do have just those spotty showers that will be coming off the coast through today. I do believe probably the Oregon coast is at the highest risk for a couple thunderstorms, but we can't rule it out, as I mentioned here in the valley. Everything's just unsettled. We have a lot of cold air, some very strong wind supporting this system, so that's why we're seeing that kind of block of moisture. Things not as strong here. We have that gentle wind, so it's just more scattered, but it's enough to kind of keep things going. And then our next stream of moisture will be arriving to the west there, and that's going to be our atmospheric river. Watch this graphic. This does a good job showing it. And so here's the precipitable water. You'll see that plume of blue here kind of start to direct right over the top of us. Here we go. Here's Friday at 6 p.m. I believe it's going to be Friday evening, at least right now, when we really start to see some heavy and consistent rain. We'll talk about rain totals here in just one second. Futurecast for the rest of today. There's the spotty showers coming off the Pacific. Here's Wednesday morning. Maybe some snowfall there for the Cascades, but... No winter alerts at this time for the northern Cascades there. We get to Thursday morning. I believe Thursday is going to be practically dry until maybe late Thursday, a couple showers moving on in. All right, let's fast forward to Friday because this is when we're really going to see a disturbance here. There comes the atmospheric river. You know when it just wraps over the top of us like wallpaper there that it's going to be wet. So there you go. There's Friday night and it sticks around through most of the day and the overnight and then it starts to clear out on Saturday. So a lot happening there. You're going to want to be ready for some very heavy rain. Clear the drains now from leaves. Here's the rain tolls all the way through to Saturday, pushing over two inches of rain. So this is not going to be a weak atmospheric river. This will be closer to a moderate or strong atmospheric river, which can cause maybe even uh, some flooding, definitely some ponding maybe some debris flows and things like that. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, seven day forecast for the rest of today. Temperatures pushing about 50. Yeah, not very warm. 48 degrees on Wednesday. There's some dry time on Thursday, at least the first part of the day. And then all eyes on Friday, Dan, for that uh, very wet system. Yeah, and a lot of Beaver fans going to Seattle for the football game against the Huskies and right in the heart of that atmospheric river. It's going to be a soaker, so we'll see what they can do with that. All right. Thank you, sir. We'll be right back.